everyone how are you i have missed you i'm glad to be back with a new video for you today we're going to be recreating the mini verse make it mini food all you can eat recipes hopefully fingers crossed we can do these justice and make great recipes today we have five recipes these don't have the ingredients down here which is a little strange maybe they want us to just be creative who knows but since we do have the little collector's guide for these i think we need to build them here is the recipes if you want to pause them take a picture of them here they are i think the first recipe that we need to build is the orange juice for the orange juice it requires one of these mason jars without the handle i do not know if i have one other than the one that came with the all you can eat but i really wanted to use that one for storage so let me take you on a little journey to our new pantry this is our walk-in pantry <laughs> i did go ahead and take a little bit of time organizing this i was just finishing up adding these little donuts to it let me go ahead and just add them to the pantry since we're here already but let's go ahead and take a look and see if we have all of the ingredients that we need for the orange juice. Here is the orange juice that we will be using. The packaging is very similar to the other juices that we have had in the mini bear series. We also need to find some of the orange slices. Let me see, do I have them around? They should be with all the fruit, so let me open this first drawer. Yep, here they are. These, I wish they would have added a little bit more to the package. It only comes with, I believe, three little orange slices and we need more, right? They should have added more. <laughs> However, that's okay. We always make it work, right? Part of that is what I love about mini bears is that we can be creative and add other ingredients. Now we need to come here to our original pantry and we're going to grab a little mason jar. The only jars that I have here that I have found were the ones with the handle like this one. So I need to check and see if by any chance I have a duplicate for the, I think the orange vanilla float has the mason jar without the handle. But in the meantime, let me get these two ready with some eyes and then I'll see if by chance I have one without the handle. That way we make the recipe exactly or as close as we can to the collector's guide let me take a look give me one moment let me just close up my fridge and then i'll check i'm just taking a look at the picture again to see if i'm missing anything else let me look at the recipe so it says to add the orange juice the ice the oh i know we're missing the straw yes so we need the straw step three and then we cure it okay let me grab a straw. I'm going to look for a blue one. I should have some, so let me just grab that. It did come with the all-you-can-eat package, so we definitely know we have it. And we need the mason jar. So this jar, I was able to find it from one of the orange vanilla ice cream floats. Let me put this other one away, and we'll start pouring in our ice. I'm going to do the recipe in different steps just to make sure that I'm able to get a good cure. I'm going to also add in the orange slice because it only comes with four. So only one slice for now and then we need to leave the rest for the top of the little orange juice. Next let's grab our tiny mini bears orange juice. I really like this packaging because it's very similar to containers found in stores currently so that's pretty awesome. Let me go ahead and start adding some to our mason jar just like this. This little container feels super light. Hopefully we're able to take out as much resin as we can and hopefully we have enough. I'm scared we may not have enough so let's not risk it. Let's add some clear UV resin. I obtained this one at Hobby Lobby. Make sure you read your warning label before you use anything like this. I'm going to add just enough to where we do not lose the color. 
of the orange juice and let me give it a good spin swirl <laughs> let me combine everything and see how it looks i think it looks really good i do not think it altered the color in any way i'm going to go ahead and grab one of the little orange slices to add it to the front of the mason jar similar to the image in the recipe let's make sure we put our little orange slice facing the same way as in the recipe just like this let's give it a fast cure and we'll be right back this is what it's looking like i think we're doing a really good job guys let's go ahead and add some more of the clear uv resin and i did scrape out as much as i could of the orange resin i'm just giving it a quick mix and we need to add more ice as much ice as we can so that we can fill up the mason cup or the mason jar let me make sure all the ice is touching the resin just like this we may need to add just a little bit more we will see i think we need to add just a tiny bit more i think this is going to be enough i'm going to grab some of the orange slices i'm going to cut one in the center and then use the other one for the rim of the mason jar we're going to add this piece here and our last half on the other side our full little orange wedge will be in the corner right here in this part of the rim i think we did a really good job are you ready to see it <laughs> this is the final product i don't know how i feel about it having so much ice but if you think about it it is orange juice and it's supposed to be refreshing right so hmm, let's compare it do you think it looks similar to the one made by miniverse you let me know does it look the same or do we need to make another one <laughs> i'm just kidding i don't have any more orange juice resin let's jump on to our next recipe i think we should make the fun donuts so these are using quite some ingredients right we're gonna need some resin some cereal and some sprinkles does it say what resin okay it's the one in the little tub okay we got this let's go shopping for our ingredients let's grab our golden sun baked sweet donuts next we're going to grab our white chocolate resin this one right here additionally we also need to grab some of the choco nana ring cereal i caught it i promise <laughs> this is the choco nana ring cereal and it's incredibly cute finally for our ingredients we're going to wrap up with the purple and blue sprinkles for utensils for this recipe we need to grab something that we could spread the resin with so an offset spatula would surely do the trick where are we going to put our donuts? I'm thinking one of the white plates that came in the all you can eat package would do. Hmm. Yeah, because I don't think we have anything else that we can use. Isn't this packaging adorable? It comes with the little maze. It has the chocolate and the banana. It's so cute. I love it. It's one of my favorite cereals so far. Let me add some of the cereal to the bowl. That way it's easier for us to grab the cereal to decorate our donuts. I really like the color of this new box. It's a golden yellow color and inside are the vanilla or golden flavored donuts. Wouldn't it be cool if Miniverse did a container of donuts in clear plastic like the ones that you find at Walmart or maybe Sam's Club or Costco where they have I can't explain it but you're able to see the in the donuts that are displayed I can't explain it but we're going to add some of the resin to the donuts I'm going to cure them very slightly that way we're able to build up our resin to make sure they look nice and white have you seen those containers? They're clear containers and they also have cookies in them. So when you grab them, you could see the type of cookie inside. I've seen them in Sprouts, Walmart, 
so many places i wish miniverse can do something like that hey miniverse if you're listening <laughs> that way we can have maybe some cookie sandwiches that would be fun right we've gone ahead and added several layers of resin and topped it with a final fresh layer of it now we're going to go ahead and add some of these chocolate cereal rings some of the chocolate some of the banana ones and we're going to add some flattened out some maybe tilting just to give it a little bit more dimension and lastly but not least we need to add our blue and purple sprinkles i'm going to be very careful because last time i accidentally poured too many onto something and it didn't look too good Let's go ahead and give these a final bake or cure, and we'll be right back. Let's go ahead and shut our oven and turn on our five minute timer. Come on, donuts be ready now. <laughs> now that they're ready, let's go ahead and give you a close look of what they look like. I think we did a great job. I would give these a 10 out of 10. It would be awesome if we could one day create a little bakery that way we can display all of the donuts that we have made so far. Wouldn't that be awesome? Cakes always make me very nervous, but we'll attempt the macaron cake and see if we could make this image some justice. It does involve us cutting the macarons, so right now the palms of my hands are sweating, I'm feeling nervous, but let's go shopping for these ingredients. So the first thing is our sun-baked macarons our little chocolate cake and we need some resin the recipe calls for this cola or pop resin I don't know about this but we'll definitely give it a shot since that is what is recommended in the little collector's guide I'm going to try it with a piping tool just to give us a little bit more precision and we will also need to get a little cake stand what else will we need? Some tacking and a little spatula as well. Here they are with the little tacky and the kickstand. Let me just memorize how it looks with the little macarons to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to need to grab a total of, what would it be? Six macarons and cut those in half. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add our piping tool to our cola resin. Hmm. I'm really struggling to get some out, but my little resin container feels a little empty again. So <laughs> what's going on? I think it might just be me and my nerves, but I'm going to use my little resin tool to go ahead and cover the cake with some of the cola resin i'm going to try and add a little bit more because i'm not liking how the two little holes can still be seen at the top i really struggle to take some of this resin out just here right now i don't think there's much left is it supposed to look like this is it supposed to be this clear i don't think so right we should be able to add i feel like more resin to give it several layers, several curves. I don't know, something's not looking right, but let me go ahead and give it its first cure and we'll see what it looks like. This is what it looks like with one cure and one layer of resin. I am not liking that cola resin for this, so I'm going to switch over to some of the chocolate dip resin for the strawberries. I think this one will go more with the color in the collector's guide as well as help us cover those little holes at the top of the cake. So this one is a no for me. I will think I'll stick with the other one. I already like the color a lot better. Let's make sure our little cake is evenly coated with resin. Let me grab a little bit more just to be safe. Let me make sure we give that a very nice coating just like this. We need to grab our spatula and cover every nook and cranny that we have on our cake. This is what it looks like cured. I think I'm going to add another layer and cure it one more time 
Give me one moment. Here it is. Now that we have cured it, it's no longer sticky. We're able to remove the tacky and we're able to add the macarons. The macarons, we're going to add first the chocolate and I believe this pink one is that rose flavor I had mentioned on another one of our videos. Next, we're going to add the green one, which I believe is pistachio flavored. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Those are just the flavors I have seen at our bakery. But this is the final product. I think we did a really good job. I really do. And now for a side-by-side -side comparison, what are your thoughts? Does this cake remind anyone of that Matilda chocolate cake? It sure does to me. <laughs> but regardless, let's go ahead and clean up our little mess. Let's clean up our table and let's go ahead and get started with our another recipe. We have here the rainbow pancakes. I'm not too sure what resin goes with these pancakes. Let me check online. So based on the package, it should be the strawberry glaze. So let me take a look. Where is it? Well, first we'll grab our Sunny's Griddle Pancakes. I'm looking for the resin, but I can't find it. Hmm. I'll have to look for it off camera. Let me go ahead and grab the fork. And we're going to grab some white chocolate chips. Let me look for that resin. I'll be right back. See, 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 see. Where did you leave that resin? Where is it? This little resin here was in the back of another resin, which was bigger, and I couldn't see it. <laughs> but thankfully, we found it, and now we're ready to grab some of our sunny, griddle, colorful, beautiful, vibrant pancakes. Let me go ahead and unbox this little packaging, and we're going to pour them into our little platter. The collector's guide shows them in this order yellow pancake orange pancake and pink pancake just like this next we're going to add some of the pink glaze the image has it in almost horizontal lines just like this and only that one vertical line but my pictures are a little blurry i'm not too sure if your collector's guides are any better but now we're going to add some of the sprinkles i feel like it needs a little bit more so let me add some more oops i added too many there it's okay let's grab our white chocolate chips and add them to our pancakes i'm trying to place them the way i see them in the image but I may be off on some, okay? <laughs> Just some, not all of them. That one there, and the last one here. Let me look at the little collector's guide. Let me add first the whipping cream, though. Before I cure it, I just want to make sure that I don't need to add anything else. I almost forgot the whipped cream. So let's see, whipped cream, chocolate chips, sprinkles. I think we're good, we're just missing the fork. The picture has a pi the fork on the side with a little tiny chocolate chip on top. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Let me put the little chocolate chip. And I think we're ready to get this cured. This is the final product. I think we did a very good job. It's not my favorite recipe to be honest. I think so far my favorite has been the macaron cake. But regardless, I think we still did a good job in replicating the Miniverse Collector's Guide recipe as closely as we could. Lastly, but not least, we have the Berry Sorbet, who's ready to go shopping one last time with me to our pantry for today. Let me grab the pink glass. Here it is. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab our sorbet. This one here is mango, so it's not that one. We need this one. We need the raspberry sorbet. We're also going to need some blueberries. I saw some blueberries in the picture, so we'll grab these. Since it says it's a raspberry, I think we need to grab some berries. So let's grab some strawberries, some blackberries. I think that's all the fruit I'm able to see on the little picture. 
I don't see any raspberries, which is crazy because the ice cream is raspberry flavor, but I don't see them. So we'll go with the blueberries, the strawberries, and the blackberries. And of course, our sorbet here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab three ice cream scoops, just like this. Let me just grab that third one. And there we go. Let me just go ahead and scoot it a little bit back so that it's placed better. I'm grabbing some of the pink glaze to add our fruit ingredients. I know it has two blueberries at the top and it also has some strawberries. I'm not too sure how many strawberries it has, if it's three or four. So let me go ahead and get those added. And add some of the blackberries, just like this. I think that looks good. Let me get this cured and I'll be right back. Here it is, we're all done. We have created all of the five recipes in the all you can eat package. Here is the orange juice, the berry sorbet, the macaron cake, the fun donuts, and the rainbow pancakes. I think we did a good job. What do you think? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate every single one of you. Please don't forget to let me know which one you like. Bye.